Boston Dynamics just dropped new videos of its 100% electric Atlas robot. This is the first time the company has shared videos of this version of Atlas doing something like work, and the first time the company has shown it correcting a mistake. We're digging into the details, so let's get into it. When turning around, Atlas's torso and legs turn in different directions. Given the fully autonomous label on this demo, it could be reasonable to assume the robot made the decision to move that way. Whether it did it because it saves time or energy, I can't say. Pop-ups in the video give us a sense of the robot's vision system and how it marks the different bins it's reaching into. About halfway through this demo, one of the engine covers, that's the item Atlas is moving around, appears to snag, causing the robot to react, reposition, and correct its mistake autonomously. We've seen similar demos from other robotics companies. Figure showed its Figure 2 robot picking up and placing auto parts, even appearing to correct some of its mistakes. Tesla's Optimus robot was also recently shown doing various work tasks, first at the company's We Robot event. However, after reports came out that indicated the robots were human-assisted at the event, Tesla dropped a video showing Optimus in a lab setting doing many similar tasks labeled as autonomous. Another video posted by Boston Dynamics on Halloween shows Atlas doing the same task it did in the previous video while wearing a hot dog costume. In this example, someone dressed as a pickle moves the bins, Atlas catches another snag, and is able to react, reposition, and finish the task. This is the first time Boston Dynamics has shown its new electric Atlas in a work setting. The announcement video shows Atlas rising up off the ground and moving around, demonstrating the robot's hypermobility. At the time, Boston Dynamics said it was developing new grippers, or hands for Atlas. Later, the company appeared to make good on that promise in a YouTube short. In this video, Atlas did some push-ups with what appeared to be grippers styled like fingerless nubs. Now we're seeing Atlas for the first time with finger-like appendages. Based on the movement shown in these new videos, it looks like Boston Dynamics has applied the same principles of hypermobility to them as they have to the rest of the robot. You can see the finger starts on the bottom to help lift the engine cover, then swivels up to pinch and hold the auto part as the robot carries it to its destination. These new videos of Atlas strutting its autonomous stuff come just weeks after Boston Dynamics and Toyota Research Institute, TRI, announced a partnership to develop AI and robotics. TRI has been working toward the development of a large behavior model, similar to a large language model that generates human-like behaviors instead of text. Boston Dynamics will supply the hardware and TRI will be supplying the AI. TRI has also been hard at work in the field of self-driving, and self-drifting cars. Tesla, one of Boston Dynamics' competitors in the humanoid robotic space, has touted the self-driving features of its cars as a helpful foundation for building out the type of AI needed to power humanoid robots. As Boston Dynamics works toward the commercialization of its humanoid robot technology, it's interesting to see the company partnering with an automotive AI company. Things are really heating up in the humanoid robotics world. Subscribe to CNET for the latest updates. What do you think of humanoid robots? Let us know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time, what the fam.